Have you ever heard the saying, practice makes perfect? Hmm. I'm about to tell you, that not only does practice not make perfect, but perfect practice doesn't even make perfect. Today, I'm going to talk to you about another method to reprogramming your subconscious. The method that I want to talk to you about today is just simply called challenge. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to jump right in. I'm going to lay out the steps for you to begin reprogramming your subconscious step by step or slowly conditioning the subconscious to new patterns and to a new norm. And the number one way we do this is through accepting a challenge. So for instance, one of the reasons why people um, have dementia and Alzheimer's is their mind, they stop accepting challenges. They stop looking for ways to continually challenge themselves, their mind, their bodies. We should always be challenging ourselves in some way. If you're listening to this video right now, you need to accept a new challenge. Accept the challenge right now of practicing this challenge method to reprogramming your subconscious. If you're looking for specific ideas on how to challenge yourself to reprogram so your subconscious in a very specific area, please shoot me a message, drop a comment below right now, shoot me an email and I'll respond to you and uh, might be able to help you with that. But the first step is simply this, accept a challenge. In an area that you see that your subconscious needs reprogramming, you need to see a renewed mind, accept a challenge. Then choose to like the challenge. I have worked with people from uh, physical fitness coaching, body modification, like body uh, sculpting, to personality sculpting, to life coaching, business consultation over the years. And the number one thing that I tell people is it all begins in your head and so I talk to people especially when it comes to um, body sculpting or body shaping and they immediately be like I hate working out I don't like to diet and I say okay my first challenge is to help them learn how to like it and for them to learn how to like something they have to begin to convince themselves subconsciously that they do like it so choose to like this challenge I like this I love the way that I feel. I love the way that my body feels. I love the way that this feels, that this challenge is making me feel alive and come alive. The second step is to visualize the feeling of the completed challenge. So you're not just practicing this challenge, physically going through it. For instance, if you're a weightlifter, the challenge is simple. I wanna lift more weight. And so you set a goal for yourself. My goal is to bench press 400 pounds. I, the most I ever bench pressed was 405 pounds and I set a, a six month goal and then progressive goals to be able to meet that challenge. Now, I was working my ass off to meet that challenge and I loved every second of it. And, and so I would continually incrementally try to add about five pounds to my bench press every single week. Now I didn't always meet the goal, but I did end up meeting the end goal. As you're seeing that challenge, a 400 pound challenge, I wanna reach 400 pounds, I'm feeling, don't just see in your mind, but feel, visualize the feeling, what it would feel like to be able to bench press that, how powerful you feel, how strong you feel, how strong your, your body is. You, so you visualize the completed, the feeling of a completed challenge, and you're gonna do this along with the practice of the plan, moving through that plan to complete that challenge, you're going to do this until you're about 80 to 90 percent completed. When you get become about 80 to 90 percent, the body, the mind ends up going, oh, I'm pretty much there, and they start to give up. No, at that point, when you hit about 80 to 90 percent, so in this case, when I started reaching at 380, 380 pounds, 390 pound mark, then you up the challenge. Then it's, okay, now my new challenge is to get to 415 pounds, 420 pounds, because the mind will start to grow complacent. So you want to raise the bar. 
As soon as you hit 80 to 90% of that challenge, raise the bar immediately. Accept the new bar, the new challenge. As you do this, you're gonna progressively grow. And you can do this in many, 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 many different areas of your life. I use this method for many of my clients and students. You're going to continually, incrementally, progressively condition your subconscious to a new norm. And so instead of you thinking, oh, I'll never be able to get that, the new norm is, I can't wait to get that. Instead of, instead of thinking, oh, I'll never bench press that, or my God, that seems so far off, the new norm is always, now I'm bench pressing this, or now I, I look like this, now I feel like this. Now my subconscious, subconscious isn't, isn't uh, sabotaging my joy, isn't sabotaging or robbing me of my pleasure, but now it's actually doing the opposite, and it's continually feeding because the new norm is what we're going after. If you apply this to your life, you will ultimately begin to see your subcon subconscious change and you're going to ultimately really begin to master whatever it is that you want. So understand the goal isn't just to change the subconscious. The goal is to get the subconscious in agreement with the conscious so that we can become masters in the specific field or realm that we want to be. I hope this helps you guys. I love you guys so much. Hope you have a beautiful fucking day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.